Welcome, this is George Petrov from DMXON.com. In this video I will show you how you can build your iOS app directly in Dreamweaver using uh, the DMXON Cordova Builder and a simple well-known frameworks like Bootstrap that you are using to build your normal HTML5 and CSS3 websites. In our previous video, we already set up a Cordova site and added the iOS supported files so we can make an iOS app. As you can see in this drop down, on top is the supported files added that I have already installed. And currently, we are using the iOS 3.8.0 supporting files. For Cordova. The Mixon Cordova Builder defined a site for me so I can just open my files panel and have the site in there. I've already opened an existing site in there that I've built with uh, Bootstrap 3 and um, our own extensions for Bootstrap like using the Bootstrap 3 grid and Bootstrap 3 elements. You can see my uh, index page in here which is already loaded in Dreamweaver and it looks really nice on mobile. We have used a couple of standard uh, day mix on uh, extensions like a slideshow over here, a bootstrap tree menu which is very well responsive and looks great on mobile. Here is the slideshow where we can navigate with the slides. And we even have a Google Maps. It works all well within Dreamweaver. You can see here all the bootstrap um, components and we can edit them with the bootstrap tree extension from Damixon. But now we want to build an iOS app from this site. As I said, I already added the iOS supporting files. This enables a few more options that you can see in here. I can uh, open this site directly as a project in Xcode. This will be really useful later on when you'll be deploying your apps to uh, App Store, for example. But I can also open it in any emulator that I want. So let's try this. For example, I want to see how my app looks in iPhone 6. So I'll choose that and press the run in emulator icon. You can see within the panel of the Cordova Builder, a lot is happening. The site has been building and it's now done. The emulator is started and my site is loaded in there. This is how my app will look on iPhone 6. As you can see very well, I can scroll with a native speed, everything runs really smoothly. I can even navigate my Google Maps in there. I can open my menu, close it. Slideshow is running. And this looks like a real iPhone app.
you can close the simulator by pressing Command Q. We can even try a different device, for example, let's say, well, maybe a smaller iPhone. Let's try iPhone 4S. Run emulator. And there we have a smaller screen from the iPhone 4S. But the app still works well. Slideshow is also working. And let's comment. This way you can preview your apps directly in the emulator, all directly from within Dreamweaver. So any changes that you make to your app in Dreamweaver, you can view instantly in the simulator. You can even deploy your app directly on your iPhone, but to do that you need to have an iOS developer account with Apple. And once you have it, you can just connect your iPhone and directly deploy this app on your iPhone. So you can do a real native testing. We have an icon for that. Just click on it and the app will pop up in your iPhone or iPad if you have connected. But before doing that, of course, you have to set up your iPhone and this is done in Xcode. The easiest way is to either run Xcode or just open this project directly in Xcode. You see, when I press that icon, Xcode is run automatically and my project, my Cordova project, is loaded automatically. Even here you can see all the emulators that are defined and I have just connected my iPhone so you can see it here. But before you are able to connect your iPhone you need to make it available as a device to Xcode. You do that within Xcode in the window menu devices and you can see all the connected devices and uh, the applications that are installed on them. Once you connect them for, for the first time a few supporting files will be automatically copied, copied by Xcode to your device so it's ready for deploy. And then when you connected it you can either from Dreamweaver run the application directly on your device or open it in Xcode and then just run it. Make sure you select your device first and then run and the application will open in your on your iPhone directly. When building iOS apps you will be using Xcode to really finalize your app and publish it to your app store. All the development work you can just do in Dreamweaver and see directly the results either in the emulator or directly on your iPhone or iPad device. This concludes the video about building iOS app directly in Dreamweaver. Thank you for your attention.